Okay, so I am at Bristol in the Xfinity series here. And I'm going to do this video in reverse order, show the setup first, and then go into uh, uh, and show a couple of laps. Uh, I actually already qualified, so this will just be the first few laps of the race. But things to talk about in this setup. Um, not a whole lot here that I think is really, really unique. I am running a little higher uh, front weight at 50%, and the wedge is up at 49.9. One of the big things at Bristol to me is how quick can you get back on the gas in the corner and then can you stay in the gas all the way through the exit of the corner. Uh, it seems like it's really easy to get loose at Bristol coming out of the corner. So this is a setup that I think will allow you to, to definitely uh, get hard on the throttle as soon as the car settles in the corner and then stay on it uh, without having to worry about the car getting loose on you. Uh, I am pretty aggressive here on the camber. Bristol is not something that is hard on um, hard on tires, so I went a little more aggressive on the camber. Uh, I've got the sensitivity set up fairly high on my wheel, which can make the car a little twitchy at times. So I ran the wheel lock at 14 degrees, which kind of, I guess, offsets that sensitivity a little bit is the way I think of it. Uh, but um, if you are running a controller or you're running something not as, a, as sensitive on your wheel settings, you might want to adjust that wheel lock down a little bit if you feel like the car is, is either too tight or just isn't responsive enough on the steering. Last thing is I debated between a 463 and a 471 rear end ratio. I finally settled on the 463 just because running a taller gear, uh, it seems like that makes you less likely to lose traction and get loose coming off the corner. It's a very slight difference, but uh, that's the reason I opted for it. So this is the start of the race. Let me run through a couple of laps here, see if I can get a decent idea. <coughs> One. I think the second lap is pretty decent, so I may rewind and show it. Yeah, that was a 15.8, which is not a, a bad lap at all. One of the things you want to do at Bristol is, as I call it, uh, I am just barely tapping the brake here. I am just barely tapping against the concept of, of if you hit it perfect, you might not be, be need to, but you're actually starting the corner way back here. Uh, you're tapping the brake ever so slightly just to get the car to settle a little bit. And again, you want to, to me, it's always about how soon can I get back in the throttle? Uh, so I want to set the corner up early. I'm going to brake a little early. I'm going to lift a little early so I can get back in the throttle early. You don't have to run, rewind it here, the very bottom to put up a decent lap. Um, the car does get upset if you get down here on the apron in the middle of the corner, uh, and it's even worse if you hit it on exit. So I'm running a half a groove off the bottom and putting up decent lap times. If you want to be uh, shave another you know tenth or half a tenth off, you can try to hit that bottom, but it's hard to do consistently. And it's kind of like there's not a huge reward for running it, but there's a big penalty if you mess up because, like I said, that car does not like hitting the apron at Bristol. I also want to point out there's more than one way to run Bristol. I don't like to run the high line, but you can definitely run up in this colored pavement area here and still get a very fast time. But one of the things you need to think about as you're running this line is you want to arc it through the middle, but then it seems like to get a fast line running the top. I went a little farther than I wanted to. You need to dive it down, it seems like. Um, 
once you're in the middle. So you may be up here in the middle where the mouse is, but you need to dive it down to the bottom on exit. It seems like you get a big downhill run if you do that. And it's short, it still gets you to the same basic point on corner exit that you're down near the bottom. But you can run the middle and get a pretty decent lap time too. So um, that's it. That's about all I have to say. I'm going to rewind this just so you can see the lap in its entirety without me stopping for anything. And then I will, um, while it's running, I will start to say it, saying my closing remarks. So I hope this video is helpful. I liked it. If it's at all helpful, just like and subscribe to the channel.